I am showing you the extension. I have some goodies. Here he is. You know it's now. I have my opinion, and my opinion is, is that I don't care you wear them. I call these Dior doors and Dior windows. It's literally just a sneak peek. I've still got my outfit on from earlier, so. Oh, the oak beams, so the oak beams. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Um, I was halfway through drying my hair, so it might be a bit fluffy, I didn't. There's no point me doing it when I'm just at home. I'm not gonna curl my hair just to be on the camera, I don't really care. Not going anywhere. So, I have a luxury haul. Quite a few bits that I saved up for, I saved up to show you. Um, what else are we doing? I've got some, I'm just gonna, yeah, start with a haul, and then the next half of this video, I am showing you the extension. It's not finished yet. I told you I'm working more this year towards showing you things that aren't finished. My wardrobe was actually meant to be finished in January, but there's no chance of me having the time, because I want to do it myself, I feel like. Well, not all of it I can do myself, but we're going to go and see the extensions. I'm very excited to show you that. So, I have some goodies. I haven't even opened this yet. Lots of, well, not lots, but three. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Prada. So, let's start with the My Teresa box. Let's do a thumbnail. So, let's open this. I love my movable. Portable Island Junior is so handy. I literally move this around every single day. Okay, so these are what, what, what there was some thought, thought process behind this. Um, my Teresa is somewhere I've shopped at for ages. I do work with My Teresa just to um, just to be transparent with you. But my thought process behind what I've ordered is like always, really. I try to go for. Cost per wear is always in my mind, cost per wear, um, pieces that I'm going to wear all the time, pieces that I can just throw on with everything. My style is, is that I do love basic outfits, jeans, tee, even leggings, especially after the baby, especially that I'm not going anywhere. Um, I just love leggings and a tee, and for me it's all about the accessories and the jacket, so that was my thought process. This is exactly how I imagined it. So I've got another uh, Blaze Milano, and I, I, Paris always tells me I say that wrong, but I'm just gonna go with Blaze Milano because that's how I see it in my head. So I love these blazers. My other one, um, if you've watched my videos, you'll know exactly what it is, but it's a tweed one. So not ideal for summer at all, whereas this is a more all year round one. Um, I just love this brand. It's made in, Ital in, 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 in Italian. It's made in Italy. They're very well made. They're so beautiful and classic. I always go one size up um, because I love, I don't like anything tight. I love wearing like cashmere under my, or any near under my blazers. But they just feel so good. And I'm never disappointed when I have one of these. Oh, it's so lovely. And I love how oversized it is as well. Um, beautiful lapels. So, um, completely forgot what I said. Oh, all size disc and everything will be in the description box below. Links to everything in this video with uh, sizes will be in the box below. But this just feels amazing. I never feel disappointed when I, when I buy one of these. And they've got so many beautiful colors in the collection this season. Oh, look how many um, inside pockets it has. Um, yes, yeah, so you can always tell when they're, I mean, I talk about this all the time, but good tailoring, working buttons. I mean, I literally recently just spoke about this. Um, all the panelling and the tailoring, and for me, the final is uh, the lining inside. It's just as beautiful as the outside. Inside pockets, working pockets, it all goes, every pocket and every panel adds to um, you know, making it more expensive to make this. So you can just see that I've literally got the best, most high-end uh, tailoring that you can get. And I picked this myself. I just truly um, love this brand. Um, I was going to tell you that I was feeling a bit strange in myself today, but I was thinking, oh, they don't need to hear that. But I feel like I'm like all over the place in this video. And I think it's important that sometimes I do share with you. I don't feel down or anything like that. 
Um, that's bad. But you know, it's just, I don't know if it's the end of January, which is such a long month, or it's just every now and again, like this lockdown and how long this has been going on for. I think we all get those days where we're a bit meh, and I feel a bit meh today. Obviously, I have all these beautiful things, um, but we can't help how we feel. So if you think I'm a bit, it's because of that. But I do want to be honest with you when I'm not feeling upbeat every time, and just be honest with you. Now, I was very intrigued to see these. So this is from a brand, um, Wardrobe NYC. It's created by an editor, and I'm pretty sure she co-founded it with somebody else. I'm pretty sure she did. So these are the famous split leggings and I have been wearing split leggings for a couple of years. You actually could find a few places, like niche places that have always done this. It's very Roland Murray to do this and then of course Victoria Beckham followed this kind of Roland Murray um, style feature and then it became really big when wardrobe NYC launched it but it actually has been around before you can even see on my Instagram there is a picture of me from before wardrobe NYC launched I'm just a real fan of split trousers because you have the option for it to be closed open be very flattering you can wear them over trainers and I just thought I'd see the quality in uh, the, these ones and if they weren't good quality then how odd, it's like a black label with no brand. And if they w w wasn't good quality, oh, it's a nasty, it's a trick label and a label in here. I was going to send them back, but I can tell that they're very thick and sucky inny. So I can already tell they're going to be nice. They look quite small, but hopefully stretchy. And I actually love the pocket. I think that's a really amazing feature which does explain, like I was just saying, when, when you add a pocket onto a garment, you'll be surprised how much it ups the price and why so many people just don't put on the, the pocket uh, because it can literally nearly double or literally double the final price. So these actually, I can tell they're amazing. They're going to be so amazing with my blazer, but just for my everyday outfits. And that's the kind of um, legging and piece that you can wear day to night, work to weekends, I love these kind of two items that I've just showed you because I can just tell how much wear I'm going to get out of them. Okay, now these. I actually just took these out of the uh, out from when I showed you. I have worn these. Remember when I always say to you, oh, you can see them, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. So, these I know are a trend thing. And I have a stance on trends. Normally I'm quite like, whatever you want to do. I'm quite um, opinionated when it comes to, not that opinionated here, but I have my opinion. And my opinion is, is that I don't care for trends. And how should I word this? Um, basically, if there are five trends a year and there's one that you love and you've been wearing all along, like the split leggings, for example, you wear them. You have a bit of a, it gets a bit sickly after a while and you can take it, normally I take a breather and I think like, oh, I love this so much, but it's saturated anywhere. But I normally come back to it. Like Sheelin, I have my Sheelin biker here. Let me show you. I've had this for about five years. And when I saw it, I fell head over heels for it because there was nothing ever like this on the market. It's acne, who remembers this? And now you can pick this up in every high street store, every, Every designer that wasn't even doing this kind of casual thing, even they're doing it. They're all doing it great. I'm still a fan. When it came really trendy last year, I was a bit like, oh. I loved it. Then it was everywhere. And it's dying down a little bit. And I know that I'm still loving Sheerlin. So I hope that makes sense. That you just take a little breather from it and stick true to your trends. If you want to buy into one, I always normally go for the high street first to get it out of my system because sometimes I do love a trend, but I'll just get it on the high street, have a bit of fun. Um, and but these are one of the pieces where I just thought, you know what, I've got to have them. Um, they're a sold out piece, so I'm really uh, sorry if it's annoying and you go to buy them and they're not there. Sometimes they come back in stock. Um, on my Teresa, you can actually put a notification that tells you when something's back in stock. And I actually did that with these. Um, and it's a, it's not a slow one either. It actually will tell you instantly when it's in so you you're, you don't get there and it's too late because that's so annoying when that happens. So that is how I got this sold out piece. And for me, 
The main reason why I got them, I'm actually wearing boyfriend jeans today. Boyfriend jeans look so amazing with flip flops in the summer and I love a boyfriend jean in the summer. But in the winter, I stop wearing them because they look weird with any other shoe. And sometimes I use the trick of folding in the hem and then rolling them up. And then you can get away with wearing them with like a slim trainer or, you know, whatever trainer you like. I like wearing a slim trainer. So I wanted a pair of loafers. And I wanted a statement pair of loafers in terms of the, the shape so that I could wear them with my boyfriend jeans. And it does the trick. So I know that these are a trend piece doesn't bother me if they're not. I'm not anti, I will never buy a trend. I've shared that I buy the odd one. But these for me, if these shoes aren't in fashion next year, doesn't bother me. I know they're not going to because they're a heavy trend. But it solves the problem of me being able to wear my um, boyfriend jeans all year round. So that's why I got them. They're super comfortable. I thought they were going to be really heavy, but they're really comfortable. These are a complete influencer Instagram shoe. But for me... I really like them and I love the comfort of them and I've worn them so much and they've just made a nice change from when I am wearing trainers and I'm loving wearing my boyfriend jeans. So I'm really happy with them. If they're sold out, I'll link them below and just go on to the notification where it says, let me know when they're back in stock. Another Prada item I want to show you. And I discovered these on my Teresa actually, just shopping because I'm such, I'm loving Prada at the moment. I said it in my last video where I spoke about this. It's literally still here for my last video. They're both nylon. Um, it's just such a practical brand. They've really gone back to their roots of the whole nylon. It's so practical. And I had something like this missing from my wardrobe and I actually wanted the Chanel one. So I have a pair of boots that are ankle with the CC, literally like this. And they did them this, this size heel up to here and I was really hoping that they came back this season. Um, Chanel told me that they're not coming back so I thought okay I'll look for another brand. Saw these and it was exactly what I was looking for and they're actually a lot cheaper than the Chanel ones. Same shape, small block heel um, and it's just they've got the nylon and I love them. They are so comfortable. I wore them the other day with the nylon coat. Oh! nylon coat and pair of leggings. I'm loving um, my velvet Spanx leggings at the moment. I'll link them below. Just makes a change, you know, from the sh your average leggings. And I loved them. I literally loved wearing them. Um, look great with leather trousers. Huge fan, really comfortable, really practical. Um, so I'll link those ones below. At the same time, I ordered this. I've already been using this. So just literally a cosmetic bag. I, I was in Prada looking and it was exactly what I was looking for. It's actually a really nice one. Now I have the Prada canvas bag and they've uh, just launched this again in black and white. I love both the black and the white. I'd probably go for the black in terms of um, durability, but I just love the cam canvas fabric for, for the summer. And I just wanted one of these for literally for my makeup because I'm so scatty, I've always been scatty and disorganised but just putting everything that I need in one place because I am using bigger bags these days just because it's easy with the baby and putting over the pram um, and then I like to put my things in one of the big bags and I've been using these as well um, for the, the baby bag, like I have that Gucci baby bag and then I have a little, little compartment for myself. It's not exciting, it's normally like lip balm, paracetamol, um, like unexciting things, a bit of lipstick to brighten up my tired face. Um, but yeah, just a really cute, if you're looking for something just like a little luxury to cheer yourself up, I do that like more than I should. I'll just go and buy myself a little something like that. But I'm actually using this all the time, amazing little cosmetic bag. Um, just a super cute little luxury. We've got everything done there. So that's open this. I actually got this this morning. Rachel, oh my goodness, Rachel Riley. I was, I would, I was going to say it's one of my favourite kids wear brands, but to be honest, it's my favourite. It's a British brand, and. For those of you that are ever worried about boys' clothes, I'm loving shopping for the boys. I love him with his knitted hat on, his like jersey basics. Then I love like the whole nude vibe and the black and white vibe. But then I, I just love 
the English traditional look and it really suits Honoré. There's a picture of him where I did dress him, it's one of my favourite pictures, I'll put it in, he's got like a grey, just grey like minimal outfit on and he does wear that well but then he does, you know, he can suit anything obviously but I just think he, he wears the traditional thing so well and I saw this on the website and I had to have it. So what I normally do is these are, I wash everything before I even try it on him but oh. how it's like something from like gone with the wind isn't it um and he's such a big boy like this is a size two and he's tried one of these on before and it actually fits him perfectly but it's so perfect and I think baby blue for a girl is also very nice um um, you know, you can easily wear this for boy or girl. And the reason why I know that I love Rachel Riley the best is because every piece I have, I it's one of the pieces I will absolutely keep for the next baby. I can't bear getting rid of any of the Rachel Riley bits because even the boy things, I can totally imagine it on a girl when if I have another boy. They're just so beautiful. So I have this beautiful baby grow. I just love how well their baby grows wash and they're just... Sometimes you just want to have them in a nice outfit, but a baby grow is, you know, the most comfortable for them. Then he already has this in cream. And then there's this little jumper to go with it. Oh, it's just how beautiful. He wears 12 months. And then I have the blanket. So he wore this at Christmas and he's actually had two sizes, a six month and a 12 month, um, just because I love the shoulder, the soldier print before he was born I was really drawn to all the soldier the soldier prints and designs and I just think this is so special I can imagine that I'm just going to keep this forever and that the fabric is really really beautiful now for what I've been waiting for <gasps> isn't it so cute have you seen anything cuter so I can't wait we're gonna go when the weather's nice next week we're just gonna go for a walk around Hyde Park or something. And for me, this is like a nice pram suit. And he can still go in the Silver Cross Kensington because he can actually sit up, you know, like when you see all those old fashioned pictures. So um, this will definitely be up before, before we get to go for a, a walk around Hyde Park, but um, stay tuned on Instagram. So I'll link these below. They come in different colors, beautiful girl colors, neutral colors. It's such a beautiful um, children's wear brand. And she's known for occasional wear, like I wouldn't even look anywhere else. Um, but you know, I haven't been able to take Honoré anywhere because obviously lockdown, but I can't wait to go for a walk with him and make my own special moments. And I also want nice outfits on him for to look back on. I don't want to look back in pictures in years to come and it's just him and a baby girl on the sofa. I try to take him out to the parks. Sometimes he'll put on a nice outfit. I don't mean like wedding outfit, but just bear that in mind. You don't have to, but for me, I'm loving putting him in the odd occasional outfit like this. I mean, this is even nice for at home. And most of the time he is in a baby grow, but I do put him in the cream one of these because it's still comfy for him. But yeah, I could talk all day about this brand because I absolutely love it. I'll link it below. So many amazing pieces to look at. Um, I will now film the cutaways, styling that jacket and those leggings. And now let's go downstairs and I'll show the, the extension. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you because I've been getting some messages about these on Instagram are my bracelets so um i do answer on instagram as well um but everyone has been asking me if this is a small cartier love no this is my mercy mercy mama honore bangle that's got his date of birth on this is a cartier clue and then this is my morse code with diamonds bangle this um actually says honore such an amazing um concept you should check it out I spoke about it in a video, a couple of videos ago, and then my Cartier clue. So, right, should we go downstairs and I'll show you the extension? Oh, I totally forgot to tell you. So with the coat, I just wanted to show you how I, because I wouldn't put this in the washing machine, so I use this Dettol fabric spray. It kills 99% of bacteria. Um, I used to love this smell, but now it just reminds me of COVID. 
So you know how smells remind you of beautiful things and amazing memories? Well, it also works the opposite way. And I feel like after COVID, I'll never be able to use this again. So I'll spray it with this and then I'll air it in the garden, preferably in the sun. So just in case you're wondering, because I'm quite obsessed with making sure all of these things are cleaned even before he tries them on. That's the only thing I can really do, really. So, right, let's go downstairs. Here he is. Who are you nosing at? Nosing at daddy's. So, I haven't put it on properly, but I just wanted to show you how beautiful. And I'll definitely vlog when we take him to the park. Oh, mummy's has not done it properly, has she? We end up doing like a 10 minute session of him. So you can see how beautiful it is. And I thought 12 months, I, every time I open it, I think, oh, it's too big for him. And it's actually perfect. So he's six months, just for size reference. But they do run true to size. He's just big, aren't you? You say, I'm a big boy. Um, so I had to show you that. So let's go downstairs. You're not allowed to come though. It's too dangerous. It's absolutely it's fascinated with himself. What's happened to your hair? <laughs> okay, before I take you outside, I've got this huge camera, so it's very zoomed in. Um, the leggings, I could tell they were good, but they are actually phenomenal. They are so comfortable. I could have got away with the size smaller, but this is fine, and I could never be bothered to send things back. Loving the pocket, but I just had to stress that they are absolutely sensational. So I'm gonna just wear this. Sorry that this is so close, but this uh, camera is a zoomed in one. So let's go downstairs. Okay, everyone, so this is it. Now I'm not being annoying. I'm not going out of my way to be annoying and not showing you the full outside. For anyone that's new to watching my videos or you're not aware, I do not share the outside of my house. This is the back. Um, it will be, you know, it's not gonna be these concrete blocks. So I'm not even going to show the finish. Um, because I just, I don't like anyone knowing the colour or the style or anything like that. I'm really sorry, it's literally just a security thing. No dig at anyone that does. I actually love watching home um, interior and all these kind of videos. I love it, it's just I don't feel safe. Um, and I wish I could show you the whole of it because as you can see, I mean you might not be able to see the, like the measurements and uh, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, the proportions, but it's like a nearly like a two actually it's just under a two-story extension um, but this is a single extension it's just extremely high um, and because we have more than a few floors in our house the proportions actually look really nice so this is the side Got to be careful I don't trip over because it's literally a building site out here um, and it skews all the scaffolding this is the back and then round I've just got a hand sanitizer in my hand but round that side is you know the same as what I've just showed you and I think it's around eight meters like deep so so yeah that's it and it looks like normal height doors but it's not the doors are slightly taller than your average door and then there's the, the arc on top. I call these Dior doors and Dior windows. And then we're having it all landscaped. We're having this moved to the, the other side of the garden. The roof, we can actually like sit on the roof and it's big enough for sun loungers and everything like that. So it has three lanterns and these are uh, very large lanterns as well. So there's three of them, it's been plastered today. Three double doors along one side. I actually love all the pink. So this is the old kitchen window. This will be opened up even more. But this is the old kitchen. You can see how much. We only have half a kitchen at the moment. So this is gonna be opened up ever so slightly more. And then there'll be steps coming down. And then this will basically, this here will be a living space. So obviously um, I can't show you properly because all the building stuff is everywhere and it's literally just a sneak peek. You can see the style. A lot of people asked me if I was going to be having oak beams. I've still got my outfit on from filming. Okay, so this will have to make do. Sorry the light's bad. Um, okay, I've got you on a wonky 
bottle of something or other. I've still got my outfit on from earlier. So, so I completely forgot. Oh, the oak beams. So the oak beams, can you see how the size now while I'm here? So in our previous extensions, so when we do the reveal, we're going to show you the before and the after. So in our, um, another part of our living space, in our living room and in our old dining room, we had oak beams. And I loved them, and I was going to recreate them again, but I thought we have them in the other living space, we have them in the lounge, um, I might go for something different. And the only reason why I, went, I didn't go with the beams again was because we had it in other places in the house, but I really wanted all the light coming in, and I love the sound of rain, and um, that was basically the reason why I wanted the light and the sound of the rain on the ceiling. So that's why we went for the lanterns. Um, I won't give away too much because obviously it's going to look completely different but I just wanted to show you the whole vibe of it so obviously the Dior doors are like the whole focal point and the vibe of this whole entire new build didn't go for the beams, we went for lanterns and that's the reason why you can see it's one big open space my legs are hurting now what's that? you know another thing that I've learned is that when you put your furniture in it looks bigger with the furniture. I always thought an open room looks smaller. Do you, do you think that? So yeah, not really much else to say. Here's the big reveal. Um, I don't think it would be disappointing because we're super happy with it. It's exactly what we wanted. Um, and it's obviously not finished, but I'm very much so looking forward to it. Hello. I'm very much looking forward to it being finished. I need to sanitize my hands. So yeah, I don't want to keep you much longer and this is a very zoomed in camera so I can't find my vlogging one. But yes, that is the extension. I can't wait to dress all these windows. I found, sorry, this is um, not meant for vlogging this camera. But yeah, I found some beautiful lighting, beautiful chandeliers. So bear with us, it should be finished end of March, April. Everything gets delayed. But that's the end of this video. I will leave the links to everything below. Do let me know what you think about the extension and what kind of reveal you want me to do. And if you want me to keep showing you the process, I'm going to have to get out of here now because I'm actually wheezy. So I'd love it if you would subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.